Today, we're going to look at five great time savers when creating slideshows in ProShow. Let's add some images to the slide list and take a look at the first time saver. Changing times for multiple slides. In the slide list, you can change the timing for your slides, transitions, or both by selecting the ones you want before making the change. To select multiple slides, press the control key as you click on slides in your show. To select a range of slides all at once, press the shift key as you click. Once the slides are highlighted, click on the slide time or transition time and make your change. The new time will be applied to all the selected slides. Next, let's apply effects to multiple slides. As you can see, I still have several slides selected. From here in the slide list, I can change the transition effect for all of these slides at once by clicking the transition icon to the right of any of the selected slides. When I find one that I like, all I have to do is press this apply button at the bottom and the transition for all my selected slides will be changed. Another way to apply effects to more than one slide at a time is by clicking this FX icon in the workspace toolbar. From the effects window, I can apply both transitions and slide styles to my selected slides. Simply choose an effect and then press the apply to slides button at the bottom. When applying slide styles, ProShow will ask you to confirm the change. Back in the slide list, you can see that all the selected slides now have the same effect. Using the slide options toolbar is another great time saver. Down here at the bottom of the slide options bar, you'll find a variety of great tools that will speed up your workflow. Instead of opening and closing the slide options window each time you want to edit a slide, Use these left and right arrows to move to other slides in your show. From this toolbar, you can also adjust the timing of your slide. Simply click on this clock icon to set the slide time or transition times. In ProShow Producer, you'll also have quick access to advanced copy options that allow you to copy settings between layers, captions, slides, and even keyframes. Next, let's look at some audio syncing options. I'm going to add a soundtrack to my show. Often, your show length and audio length won't match up. That's when you might see something like this in your slide list. This gray part of the waveform is showing me that my show ends before my song does. For this example, I want my show and soundtrack to end at the same time. To do that, I'll perform a quick sync. From the file menu, I'm going to choose Audio and then select Quick Sync Entire Show. What this option does is automatically adjusts the length of all my slide times and transition times so that my show and soundtrack end simultaneously. You can verify they are synced up by looking in two places. In the top right corner, you can see that the show and audio lengths are now the same. And back down in the slide list, you can now see that the gray waveform is gone. My show and my song now end at the same time. And finally, we have the reset and undo changes options. While making a show, keep in mind that you can always press Ctrl Z and undo the most recent change you made. As long as a show is open, you can continue to press Ctrl Z and go back several steps. This will work with every setting you can configure in ProShow. If you're not sure what change will be affected, select Edit from the File menu. At the very top, you'll see what setting will be undone next when you press Ctrl-Z. When working in slide options, instead of going back one step at a time, you can also click the Undo icon in the top right corner of the pane. This option will reset all of the settings within a specific pane. And thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.